The Queen City mourning the loss of one of Buffalo's bravest tonight. Buildings around the city are lit red and flags are flying at half staff in honor of 37 year old firefighter Jason Arno, who died battling that four alarm blaze on Main Street Wednesday morning. Good evening, I'm Febin Kasun. Arno's death weighing heavy on many people around Buffalo today. And tonight, we're getting a better idea of the man that he was and why the department hopes that he's remembered as a hero who made the ultimate sacrifice. An exemplary firefighter and just an all-around great person. That is how 37-year-old Jason Arno is being remembered. Just a bright young man with everything in front of him. Uh, just was married uh, over the summer. Uh, had a three-year-old uh, girl at home. Uh, it's the whole future in front of them. The three year firefighter's life tragically cut short Wednesday after a four alarm fire broke out on Main Street downtown. I said, there, was a, there was a May Day uh, uh, issued by the by, uh, firefighter Arnaud, and that's when, the, that's when the evacuation began. Although it's a painful reminder of just how dangerous the job of fighting fires can be, his family, work family, the city of Buffalo, and the firefighting community near and far highlighting his commitment and bravery. Yeah, as you can imagine, they're very distraught, very distraught. But, uh, uh, you know, we have a mission, uh, Buffalo Fire Department has a mission to uh, protect the lives and property of the cities of Buffalo, you know, citizens of the city of Buffalo. Right, and we do that, but a lot of times we lose sight of the people who are performing that mission. Buffalo Fire Commissioner Ronaldo and Mayor Brown visiting the family during this emotional time. They certainly uh, were leaning on each other. Uh, they were showing great support uh, for each other. And at the same time, they were very warm and friend friendly toward us even in the face of uh, the pain and tragedy that, that they were dealing with. And while the community prepares to lay a hero to rest, the city taking a different approach on the destroyed building by temporarily suspending the demolition that began Wednesday night. It's to preserve the building for more evidence. The city of Buffalo uh, has secured the perimeter of the building on Main Street. Uh, we want to make sure that with a structure that is unstable as this one is, that we are keeping uh, the public uh, away from the structure, that we are keeping uh, the public safe. But as Buffalo, state and federal investigators begin looking into the deadly blaze, Arno's family and brothers at Engine 2 are just beginning to grieve. I want him to remember for what he was. He was a hero. He's a brave, committed uh, firefighter. You know, he went into this job with his eyes wide open to serve the citizens of Buffalo. And he's to be commended for that. And he's going to be honored for that. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. State Fire and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives is assisting the city in this investigation. Grief counseling is being provided for the firefighters and first responders impacted by this loss. And if you'd like to support Buffalo Fire and Arno's family, the Firefighters Union is collecting cash donations. Checks can be mailed or dropped off at the address on your screen. The union says it's working on ways to accept donations through mobile apps. We also have this address posted on WKBW.com.